everybody welcome back to project happy home for those of you who are new here i'm tanya a doctor lawyer turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10 6 and 5. if you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling raising a child with adhd and living a more essentialist lifestyle in general you have come to the right place so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below in today's video i'm going to share with you a little peek into a language arts book that we have used and loved in our homeschool this is daily word ladders by scholastic it's for grades one through two we've used the grades one through two and grades two through three with great success and i've liked both of them they take very little time like it says here about 10 minutes for a page even less um for most for the most part but this one was actually used by my son through grades one through two and he really loved it. It was really fun to do. Basically, the way the workbook works is you start off with a word at the bottom, and then they give you a little hint for the meaning of the next word. So a large pig is a hog, and then you change the first letter. So for example, he would write from here, OG, and then he'd read a large pig and figure out, okay, so og, hog, and then so on and so forth. Here you'd change the vowel, so he'd keep the A and the G, and change it to an ugly old woman or witch. So he knew it was H and G and it would be a hag. So I like this book for not only the problem solving of it, but for the fact that it introduced new vocabulary that he didn't know yet. Like I don't know that we had ever really gone over the word hag with him and so on and so forth until they get to the end. And in general, they it's self-grading, right? Because they know if they've gotten the right word at the end because it has to make sense. Now, for these books, my children often have to ask me for help here or there because there'll be some clue that they can't quite figure out, something that they haven't quite thought through. Sometimes when they say it out loud, one of their other siblings, even a younger sibling, will just shout out the answer. And that was actually really fun for us. So I think you could do these together. I think you could do them on your own. As you can see, they get more complex as you keep going. Sometimes the word starts out really long and then you take away some of the letters to get to a shorter word but I really really liked how it progressed in difficulty I thought it made a lot of sense um, with their word progression nothing was too complicated I definitely felt like it was on grade level for grades one and two and it goes on so forth and so <laughs> and it goes on and you can always see little butts have been increased fat it's a man at the end of it and rush hour here he was making his own little rebus puzzles but I really, really like this book, and I think that a lot of kids would enjoy doing this. It's a nice way of practicing things like spelling and critical thinking and rhyming, um, vowel skills, phonics. It incorporates a lot of different language art skills in one fun puzzle format. So this was short and sweet, you guys. As you can see here, here's the grades two to three one. You can see that the words start out a little bit more complicated. I am not a fan of a lot of Scholastic notebooks, but I really, really like their word letters, and I fully expect to use both the books with all three of my children. So right now my middle daughter is using this one, and she will move into the next one um, probably next year, but I think it's a great way of practicing exactly as they say, reading, vocabulary, spelling, and phonics skills in one fun, swift um, activity. So as always, you guys, thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I really do appreciate it, and I wish you the very best day.